Hey, what's up? Welcome to More AJ and I'm AJ Moore. Today, I'm going to show you how I made my fruit smoothie with homemade sea moss gel. In my smoothie today, I'm going to be using frozen pineapples, strawberries, and blueberries. I always keep frozen uh, fruits on hand because they're just easily accessible and they last longer. 99% of my smoothies will have a banana or two in it um, because bananas just add a nice creamy texture. And then I'm going to add the star of the show, which is sea moss gel. So when you make sea moss gel homemade, it can last in your refrigerator for up to two to three weeks. And if you decide to freeze some of it, it can last up to three months. I'm also adding some agave for um, more sweetness. And today I'm going to use as my base coconut water. Depending on how you like the texture of your smoothie um, will determine how much liquid you use. I prefer my smoothies a little bit on the looser side because it's just easier for me to drink. And that's pretty much it. We're about to blend this baby up and be done. So sea moss gel is one of those, it's definitely a superfood. It has 92 of the 102 minerals that our bodies need to survive and thrive on a daily basis. So it's definitely worth checking out. Um, I'm going to drop a video on how I made my sea moss gel. So make sure you have your notifications on. And that's it. It's all done. Quick, simple. In a few minutes, you have a nice healthy delicious smoothie so cheers to better health thank you so much for watching and until next time more love more laughs and more life